All right, guys, so here's what we're going to do. It's really important that you think conceptually about the number line. These are the positives. These are the negatives. So let's say you've got some numbers. If you got like 3 plus 7, obviously that's going to be, you know, over here, 3, and then you're going to add 7. You're going to go farther right on the number line, right? That's going to be 10. Now let's look at 3 minus 7. Okay, so let's say you're here, right? You're at positive 3. Now if you're subtracting 7, you got to go back 3, right? You subtract a 3. Now how many more do you have to subtract? Exactly, you got to subtract another 4. So now you're at negative 4. So 3 minus 7, 3 minus 3 gets you to 0, right? And then 4 more, subtract 4 more. So now you subtract 7 total. Now you're at 3 minus 7, so you're at negative 4. So what you want to do in general is you want to look for patterns. So say, how did I find that? What could I do? Well, I'll give an example. You have two separate signs. What I would do is I would figure out first, very, very first, in general, especially when the numbers get harder, you got fractions, you got all this stuff, which we'll go over in future videos. But just even if it's a simple number. So you're, okay, 3 minus 7, is that positive or negative? Well, it's going to go past 0 to the left. All right, the, we're going farther left on the number line. So you know it's going to be negative. So what I would recommend is that you focus strictly on the sign first. So 3 minus 7 is going to be negative. So I put a negative. Then I go back and look at the numbers. So 3 minus 7, what I would do is whether in my head or written out, I would write out 7 minus 3. The reason why I don't write it out, usually, is because I don't want to confuse myself with the real question that you need to solve, which is 3 minus 7. But in my head, I think, okay, take the largest number and then subtract the smallest number out of these two, for example, and then you get 4. And so you just drop it in. So you already know it's a negative, and then you just drop in the number 7 minus 3. So let's say you've got negative 4 minus 2. Well, now we're at negative 4, so we're going to add 2 or subtract 2. Well, we're going to go, we're going to subtract 2, right? We're going to go more, even more left on the number line. So now, we're going to subtract 2, right? Which puts us at negative what? Exactly, negative 6. So, do you see the pattern here? Well, if they're the same sign, right? Like this is the same sign, positive and positive. You add them up and keep the sign the same of the numbers, right? If they're the same sign and they're negative, they're both negative, then you add up the digits, right, 4 plus 2, and then you keep the sign of both numbers. Another way, when I was a kid, I used to change this negative to a plus minus. I had that for a while because it helped me visually understand that it's negative 4 plus negative 2. So I'm at negative 4, and I'm adding negative 2. So I know for certain, because I'm adding negative 2, that I'm going to go left on the number line. So that visually made it easier for me to say, OK, that's farther left on the number line. That's negative 6. Either one of these is fine. You can, you can change, as you may do for a lot of processes in math. Um, so whatever works for your brain, your imagination, your work ethic, your recall during you know, quizzes, tests, um, etc., um, and just your ability to do well and, and to exude um, excellent aptitude, and to, um, that's all that matters. What's important with your process is what's effective for you in terms of results and you know, the amount of time it takes you to work on this, etc., and then the amount of information that you're learning and remembering. So I'm going to give you guys examples of what I think can help me um, or what has helped me and what I think can help you. But if you want to go a different route or choose a different process, that's totally fine because it's all about your brain. 
But this stuff, I'll tell you, helped me when I was young, just learning about adding numbers and subtracting numbers, etc.